Welcome, lovely people. Today I am playing on the PlayStation and I am on the US server. Um, and I'm on an account that is not my From Scratch account. This one I have put money in and I have some things unlocked and collected some items. So, um, but today I'm doing something because I want to get a little bit outside my comfort zone. But when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. Um, I see so many players who are so excited about creating characters who already exist. And this is not something I've ever done or ever had an interest in. I still am not sure if I'm interested. I mean, I must be a little interested, right? Because I'm going to try it. So I want to create a character who exists already, but I'm also not comfortable going too far outside of my comfort zone. So I chose Raven <laughs> because... <laughs> I know the character a little bit, so I have enough information to, I think, choose things for her. I also brought up some pictures on my phone so that I get her chest piece right because I couldn't remember what she has. And I have I also realize um, there are many versions of all the characters from DC and I don't know the difference between a good m many of them. Uh, so what I'm going to do may be incorrect, but I'm going to try anyway. And the reason I've chosen Raven you probably already know. Black and purple are her colors. She's kind of dark. If I had to say that my style of character was similar to any other character in the DC universe, it would be her. So I'm doing something I don't like, but I'm only, you know, dipping my toes <laughs> because I don't know how uncomfortable this is going to make me. But we're going to try it and I'm hoping that it works out for the best and well for me and that I actually enjoy it and if so maybe I can step a second step into the pool. I don't think that made sense but we're going with it anyway. All right so first thing I'm going to do is something I also really don't like doing and that is running through these presets to see if there is a raven already so let's do that. Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman, Joker, Cersei. That is not that does not look at all like Cersei to me. I understand that there are limited items to use, but no. Oh, I should mention also, I have all superpowers unlocked on here. Abilities. I have all abilities unlocked. I have all movement unlocked on here, I believe. I think I, I, think I don't have the shield unlocked though, for weaponry. Wait, yeah. <laughs> uh, Harley Quinn. See, Harley Quinn would probably be the next one I'd be comfortable kind of going into because I feel she's a little dark and she's completely manic, which is very entertaining and sounds like a fun thing to play or create. So maybe. Poison Ivy. She looks a great deal like my um plant character. <laughs> uh, Martian Manhunter. I love Martian Manhunter. Steel Catwoman. Ah, oh, I forgot about Catwoman. I could make a Catwoman. I might make a Catwoman if I have to make another one after this. We've got to, got to see how we go. Let's see how we go with Raven first. We've got Bane, Flash, Beast Boy, Deathstroke, Terror, Static, Lantern, Sinestro, a tro Oh, wow, he looks great. That's like a very scary face. <laughs> Captain Atom, he, that, he is undressed. Spectre, Firestorm, Mera. <gasps> There is no preset for Raven. So this means I can choose things for myself. Oh, I feel so much happier right now. Let's customize then. Female, obviously. Then we've got Spry. Oh, I already don't like this. I feel like Spry is accurate. What's the height difference? Oh no, that's too short. I, I feel like medium is accurate for that. For Raven. What do you think? We're going to do hero. She is a hero. Um, no, she's not very casual. She's kind of in control of herself. Uh, serious, I think might be a little too far. I'm going to go with powerful. I think powerful. Mentor. Well, we don't have Trigon, so... Uh, and I would not call him a mentor for her anyway. Let's pretend I never said that. I'm thinking magic. We're going to go Wonder Woman for magic. So Actually, sorcery is a very good one. Maybe I should leave that. What else have we got? It's, no, not gadgets. 
not mental. We've done mental. It's not her. No, 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 Earth, no. Oh, Celestial. Oh, now I can't decide. I'm going to look up what her powers look like. I think they're kind of purpley pink, which is sorcery, right? Celestial is purpley gold. Damn it, the choices are too hard. All right, I'm thinking I'm going to go with Celestial over sorcery just because I remember some of the abilities it has and I feel like those floating skulls kind of suit her. Light, rage, I doubt we're gonna find one better than Celestial, right? Water, atomic, all right. So Celestial, I've gotta have a look at sorcery again. Sorcery is a healer. I'm pretty sure that Celestial is also a healer. Yeah. And this one's got, this one's a little more complicated to play, but I really enjoy it. I have a Celestial on other consoles. Shock, I have every ability on a console somewhere. Ability? Yeah, ability. Aw, well done. I'm so proud of you. I thought it was super power for a second. I get things confused. I'm a little tired. I should have some more of my drink. That will help me stay awake. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do Celestial. I don't know if I'm going to regret it or not. I also don't know what she uses as a weapon. I don't think she does use one, does she? She kind of used bare hands. Let's Let's look up Raven Weapon. Bare hands. All right, I'm going to take on the advice of multiverse, whereby I'm going to choose martial arts over brawling because martial arts is faster and I can just remove it so that she has bare hands and we don't see the weapons, which would be my preference with martial arts anyway, because I find that the actual weapons for it are quite massive <laughs> for something that's like close to the body. And I was kind of hoping they'd have things that are like a small blade attached to the back of your hand or something like that. But they're all quite big. I'd rather have dual wield with the really long, nicely formed blades than the martial arts weaponry. But we'll go with martial arts for her because it's a nice, fast version of brawling, which I feel like is kind of what she would use. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure I'm wrong about a great many things on this because I have very limited no knowledge where it comes to DC law. Um, not because I'm not interested. I am interested. I just don't have the time to consume enough content to know everything. So last step is movement. See, I've got skimming uh, unlocked, but I think she's flight. Flight over skimming? I have looked up some things about what her movement looks like, and I'm going to go with flight. Because even though she kind of floats in the air for a lot of things, when she's actually moving through the air at a pace, flight is what it looks like to me. So hopefully that's the correct decision. <laughs> All right, costume. Okay, skin. Uh, I'm not sure, they have like a young one, right? Youthful. Oh no, that doesn't look like her. She's not cheerful, she's not, I mean, Arguments could be made for angry, but I think she might be a little more stoic than anything else. Maybe sarcastic slightly, but um, I'm, th I'm gonna stick with the original human skin. I think it's the closest. Her hair. I think there's like, I think the wavy, this one, right? This one, and we'd have to make it either black or purple. I think in the most recent things, her hair is purple. So we'll go with that. Head, we need a... There's like a hood with a V at the front I've seen. So we need to find that because that is Raveny. And now Raveny is a word, whether you like it or not. I've just created it. <laughs> there we go. It's the Mage's hood with the V at the front. So we'll grab that. Face. She has like a mask that covers this section that's black underneath her hood. So we're looking for something that looks like that. For face, there haven't been very many of these that I've actually used. Um, I've used some face things, but most of them are ones you get during gameplay, not ones from in here, with the exception of emissive eyes. Um, oh, monocle. <laughs> that looks funny. So, oh, that's an interesting shape. Nose tipped 
domino. I'll keep going. I would like to see if I can get one that's got a better shape here that's not so dramatic. Actually, let's try it with the hood. No, no. I need to cover more of her face too. So I, I don't like that one. I would like to see if there's something that covers her forehead down and then angles up on the side. Oh, I, I kind of like that though. How does that look with it? It looks cool, but wrong. Oh, I wish... I don't understand why it continuously scrolls back to the top of the menu in here. I, I wish it stayed where you were up to instead of scrolling up to the top every time. I find that really quite annoying. I think out of all of these, this is the closest I'm going to find. And I don't like it. It's not what I want, but it's the closest we can find. Oh, emblems. <laughs> Does she have an emblem? I dislike the emblems. But let's pick something Raven-esque. At worst comes to worst, we can always put an R. But um, I think she doesn't have a an emblem. She has like a gem that holds her cloak on that's asymmetrical, I think. That's what, hang on. I saw it earlier in one. Yeah, it's asymmetrical purple cloak with a gem that's attached to hold it in place. Although there are some illustrations where she has two holding the cape on. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to pick there, but... I already dislike emblems. Trying to pick one that goes to a character who already exists but doesn't have an emblem. This is not fun, guys. I'm not having fun right now. I just want to pick an R. Can we just... Fa Wait, is there a skull? I mean, I'm going to take it off when we go in. It's... I'm getting the skull. <laughs> is that... Is that disobeying my rules? If I'm trying to make it as raven as possible and the skull is a little too dark. Yeah, it's dis disobeying my rules. Let's find an R. We're going to be a little boring. R for raven, okay? I'm unhappy with that, but that's what we're doing. All right, chest piece. Oh, this is going to be interesting. It's like a, sh a sleeveless, I don't know, bodysuit section in most of her illustrations. I think she's got, yeah, in Teen Titans, which is what I have seen the most of because other people watch it around me, she has the long sleeve top all in one color, which I, I like. It looks like she's gonna be wearing biker gloves too because um they're gonna be the closest to what she has. Anyway, so I want a chest piece that I can make one solid black color, which I mean, a lot of them, can, we can do that. We also want it to not have the hands covered if possible. So a long sleeve to the wrist so that the gloves will be, see like that is good, but um, maybe not so much pattern if we can help it. So new Genesis I'll keep in mind. These all have hands, glove parts. Oh, that's no, absolutely not on all these ones. They don't look anything like a, no, no, no. I mean, argument could be made for that one, but it goes to the neck and everything she's got, not a tank top, so not quite. Plus, I'd rather have the long sleeve. Oh, that's got, see, but the open chest is not something that Raven has, is it? No, she doesn't have that. So, um, New Genesis, it looks like, is my winner for the moment, because I'm aiming for that Teen Titans one, which I know is probably <laughs> not the best choice, but it's what I know, so we're going with it. All right, chest is done, back cape. We need a cape. As far as I know, she has a black, a solid black or solid purple cape, depending. I'm not sure under which circumstances she has wings, but I do know that that is a thing. But I'm going to aim for her cape here um, because it, I'm aiming for what I know, which I know Teen Titans, and I know that with this top that I'm going to turn all black, um, the back needs to be a cape. So I'm kind of liking the full one because it needs to be a solid color, but let's keep going through. I don't even remember this one. Is this new? Are some of these new? Oh, I like the torn one. Although I don't know how accurate that is, but I kind of like it. The backpacks are no good. Quiver, oh, bird's wings. See, I know, I know she's got wings at some point, but we're not gonna do that because it doesn't go with Teen Titans, so. Let's keep, I, I think, I want to get the tattered, 
but I feel the full is more accurate to what she normally has. So I'm going to go with full even though I prefer the tattered one because I'm trying to stick to my rule here of trying to make the character as close to the character as, as close to the character in my memory um, as I can, which would mean no tattered cape. All right, so hands, I, it's got to be the biker gloves, which makes me very happy because um, the gloves that she has don't cover her full hand and has exposed her fingers. So I feel that the, the biker gloves are going to be the only one in here that does that. I do know there are other ones I can get in game that might be more suitable, but for the moment we're going with that. So yeah. So there's nothing that's better than the biker gloves at the moment. So we'll go with that. And that makes me slightly happy because it's something I would have chosen anyway. <laughs> okay, waist. She has uh, gems going around her waist in circles, as far as I recall. And I'm pretty sure I can look on here and find it. Yeah, it's gems going around in circle in a circle usually. Gold and red in Teen Titan. But I'd probably get her into game, and the second she's in game, I'm going to be like, let's change everything to something I've, I've purchased. <laughs> Which I feel is what a lot of people do when they're creating a character um, from DC Universe. I nearly forgot the word DC. It's not even a word. I nearly forgot the acronym DC. I nearly forgot DC. <laughs> Which is terrible. This is your favorite game and you are on here every day and you forgot what it's called. I don't feel like any of these are accurate. At least not so far. None. We can't do none. We need something. I mean, maybe classic biker. It's got the round piece at the front. We want something with round. That's See, that's too uh, soft. It doesn't look like armor or... No. The multi-pouch is a little excessive and not round. I don't feel like I have a lot of options here for round because this has round and this does too but the other one looks better the techno maybe what was the other one i had it was biker right biker techno see the issue i have with the techno and the sun clasp down here is how far off the waist they look like they are it looks like a belt that is just sitting around her hips doing nothing yeah, but that would have been accurate. Her belt does just kind of sit around her hips doing nothing. It's not even got anything on it. And the biker looks like it's actually holding her trousers or at least attached in some way because of those belt loops. It's still got the circle. And also the circle at the front, whatever uh, symbol it is, it's shining, which she has shiny. So I'm going to go with the biker one, which may sound stupid. But that's what we're doing. Legs. Need to make it as accurate as possible. I'm kind of hoping that in-game I have the... I, I don't know what to call it, but it's a loincloth. What is it? It's um, Amazonian something? I'm not sure. It's in the A's. <laughs> so that it's a little more accurate and also maybe... I, I was going to say slightly more coverage. But I think we just gain some length and lose some width. So maybe I won't gain coverage with that, but I will gain slight more accuracy with that. Unless the Dark Raven stuff is unlocked. I could do Dark Raven. I don't know what Dark Raven is, but I have some of that stuff available on the characters on here, I think. Maybe I can unlock them and make her look Dark Raven-y, which would be really leaning into things that I already like, which is, you know, why I chose Raven, though. But, I mean, the point is to make a character that already exists. I'm going to have to look up Dark Raven. Dark Raven, the alter ego of Raven. Raven. See, that's good. I like that. So reverse slimline is probably what we'll go with. I, I don't like any of the trousers. They're inaccurate. Jeans, metalhead skirt. Oh, you know, the Wall Street skirt might be accurate. She has a skirt for some of it. Like... Sometimes she has skirt, sometimes she has not much. <laughs> and sometimes it's the, what I call a loincloth, but I'm sure is not what it actually is. We could do the skirt. No, uh, uh, my preference would be to put this skirt on her, but I'm going to not do that because I'm trying to make her look as much like the character as possible. And... I have to go against the things I like and lean into the things that are more accurate. So she's running around very scantily clad, which I am uncomfortable with, but I will live with. 
so feet is the last item. Oh, she wears boots, right? Okay, it looks like she wears a flat boot. Oh, that's basically a flat boot with boot. <laughs> she wears a flat boot. I'm mixing up my letters now. It looks like she wears a flat soled boot with the top folding over slightly. And then in some of them, it's just kind of squashed, like uh, like she's pulled them up and then they've dropped down throughout the day. So I'm going to go with the ones that look like they've dropped down throughout the day and see if I can find something similar because there are more images of that that I can find. And I also think it suits her more. I think the other ones look a little too structured. And uh, I like the look of the ones that are slightly less so. So let's go through. Oh, I don't want to heal. She's got a flat, flat sole. Parliamentary? No. They need to be kind of plain. Like a single cut, like kind of like that, but no, no heel. Just flat, please. Flat and one color. I mean, kind of. Tall trim. The top has to be like boring. Oh, the thigh highs actually are not Teen Titan, but are Raven. I, she's worn that in things I've seen. Oh, damn it. We've got nothing that's accurate. Now I'm thinking that thigh highs might be the way to go. I'll probably change it the second I'm in game, though. Uh, see? That with the one solid color boot. But no heel. And I also don't like the... I don't like the thing on top. I want it to be accurate. And I want it to be just a solid single boot. Without a fold. I wish these didn't have heels. Maybe I should go with them anyway. I, they look like the right height. They might be a little tall. Look, I don't think I'm going to find something that's exactly the right height on her leg. Um, because all of these boots are quite high and then the other shoes are quite low. There is no medium. So, I'm thinking we've got the choice of putting a heel on, even though she doesn't wear heels, just so that we can get the look right. Or, so it wouldn't, it would be this one. And I will try to make the whole lot black. It even has that like uh, fold at the front around the ankle that looks kind of accurate as well because her boots kind of sag down. But um, none of the non-heeled ones do this. And the other option is the thigh high because I th I'm sure that that's accurate to her as well. Just not in Teen Titan universe. Um, and see these ones, are, they too too structured along the top, too intentional. Her boots are just straight at the top, boring. Which I prefer, actually. See, we could do that. But I feel like that's slipping too far away from what I'm trying to do here. So let's find that heel. We'll go with that. Also, who would wear heels when they're fighting crime? It is so stupid. They hurt your feet. They're so bad for you. At least they are for I have uh, weak ankles. So if I wear heels, which I have done, I... Um, tend to not be okay. I have had 38 sprained ankles in my life and um, they a good chunk of those were caused by me walking normally just because they're weak and if I don't pay attention, out from under me they go. So I have an interesting relationship with heels. Anyway, color. This is gonna be easy. Oh no, it's not. There's no sliders. And I have to do her skin. She's like white, gray, white. Gray white. I don't want to go too dark, but at the same time, she's got like a sheen on her skin. I wish her skin was a little more matte because she's matte well, in, in the images. But I suppose I can't really affect that. We're going to have whatever texture comes with it. But I'm feeling that gray is the way to go. Is that weird? Is she only portraying as gray in Teen Titans? <laughs> I'm going to go with the gray. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I can always change it. Hair. So more recently, she's had dark purple hair. So I'm going to do the purple, um, which we can't see. I'll, I'll remove her headpiece so we can actually see what I'm doing here. Mage's hood will come. We'll come back, Mage's hood. Don't worry, we won't leave you off. Wow, this is a long scroll. All the way back to the top to get none. Okay, so there's her hair in the dark purple. I, I'm quite happy with that. Head, we'll put the mage's hood back on. Color. Eyes, her eyes are purple also. 
So we'll do that. Not that you can see them with this mask on. Makeup. Something I know so much about. On the bright side, her lips are black on these things that I'm looking at. Black, so I'm happy. <laughs> Usually I choose black just because it's more comfortable for me so I don't have to think about the colors. Black won't clash with anything, but um, this time it's actually accurate, so that's good. So she's going to be black and purple. Her cloak is going black with that, so let's check the purple on first. Then we'll chuck on the black. Sweet. And then we'll chuck on more black, or does she have some She's got gold and red that are in her um, belt and brooch thing, the jewel that holds her um, coat, cloak, her cape in place. That is a red gem. So we could do the red, or we could do gold, or we could wait until we actually have something to put that on and we could do like a dark gray here or a black. I actually really like how this cloak, cape, I actually really like how this cape has purple on the outside, but then on the interior it's black. I didn't, I didn't notice that, but now I'm really happy with that. All right, so what looks more like Raven to me? If we put red, if we put a gold that is a, not a gold at all because they don't, they don't have gold. And I can't use my sliders, these are the wrong color. What about the browns? Do they look gold? No, no. Or a gray, I feel like the gray looks more like Raven to be honest. I think uh, because the gold and the red that she has on her character in Teen Titans is very minimal and specifically located here and on her waist, when I put it on her clothing, it looks incorrect to me. So we're going to go with the gray because I feel like that's the most accurate. Okay. Now we have to do a name. I have never had to name my character something that I know for sure people have taken. So uh, I might combine her name and mine together and hope it works. Oh, we did it. I'm chuffed. I didn't think it was gonna be that easy. All right, well, we'll have to commit to it now. I'm happy with my choices. I'm, I'm looking forward to playing this and I'm not uncomfortable in the least. No, uh, will we skip the tutorial? We will skip it. We have seen tutorials enough on this channel. Let's skip and go straight in. We'll miss out on a couple of things, but I'm sure I'll survive. Is there a show called That Girl Raven? <gasps> There's a song called That Girl. <laughs> By Raven Simone. People are going to think that is why I chose this. They're not going to realize that I'm that girl from AU and this is Raven. I don't think I'm upset about that. I'm fine with that. That's funny. The funny part is that I did it unintentionally and had to look it up to see if I was thinking that it was something. All right. I'm going to quickly collect these briefings. Uh, that's all right. You won't have to come with me for that. Um, just because the sound is annoying me. Okay, I have shut off all the briefings and um, flight's kind of fun. I have characters that have flight on other consoles, but I don't play them very often. And yeah, I, I've got to say I'm happy with the way she looks when she's floating in the air. I feel like that's how Raven looks. <gasps> it's that so Raven that I was thinking of. I was looking it up and a, that song came up. No, I was thinking of that so Raven. That's a show, right? It's a TV show. I don't think I've ever seen it, but I know the name of it. Something about a psychic. Laura, I'm going to blow your mind right now. Are you ready? So the Raven Simone who's singing the song, That Girl, is the same Raven Simone who acted the role of Raven the psychic in That's So Raven. Right? Anyway, we've got one ability already. All right, let's have a look at what we've got for loadouts here. 
This one is the Tapmili Haunt. This one is Tapmili Range. Wither? It's Range, Mili Range. Yeah, we'll leave those where they are. Yeah, I remember these. These are actually, I think they are actually in the position that I put them in. Nope. For sure that that Smite, I either have that there or I have it over here on the other square because it's, you just double tap your melee and then I don't have to remember. And this one I'm pretty sure I have on a ranged because I go range, melee, range. So yeah, cool. I'm, I, I'm gonna stop gabbing on about that now. Okay, I have gone to the marketplace and I collected everything um, that I have purchased that could be relevant to Raven. I also um, did the seize the throne and face your fear codes so that I could get the free items, which includes a set of armor, which she is wearing now. And I've popped my gold box down the bottom there for future use when it will unlock. On the very bright side, one of the things which if you have seen <laughs> my reaction to the noir comic Chroma, you will know I have that, and I think it's very Raven relevant. So I am very happy <laughs> that I can use that on her from the get-go. I am aware some people may disagree with me about it being relevant. Oh, I hate how it does that. It always goes to the reset at the bottom when I go to the last one, even if I'm using directional buttons to tap. Let's watch. See what I mean? I don't want to reset, I just want this third one. Why does it do that? Okay. So we've got that in. I'm also going to get rid of these weapons. Um, she's going to be barehanded because I don't think she fights with weapons. She uses her powers all of the time. So I would like it to look that way because it seems more accurate to me. Then we're going to see what dark raven things I have available. So let's scroll through, see if there are any. And if I can get them on her, we're going to do that because they're called ravens. So it's not inaccurate, right? Just trust me, it's not. Give up, punk! You will Jeez. be apprehended. That was loud and surprising. I see a red dot. Nope. He's gone. They apprehended him faster than I could move. I mean, that guy did sound quite upset with him. All right, Dark Raven. Do we have Dark Raven? No, do we have Enhanced? <gasps> yes, we do, sir. I don't know who sir is. I just got excited. Let's unlock it and put it on our character. I'm so happy. I is that is it overlapping with the mask? Wait, what's on her face? It is. Let's take the mask off. Okay. That looks weird. What if I put emissive eyes with it? Will that look less weird? Can't see them. Is anyone else thinking this is kind of glitchy? Why her eyes are completely gone? You have black in that color slot. There's just nothing there, right? Let's get close to a wall so we can have a good look at her face. What is going on with that? No, just change the color in that channel from black. I'm confused. I am sure the eyes glowed like a color. Yeah, they do. I'm, I don't understand. If I check these on, well, at least that makes the skin color disappear. Come on, it's right there in front of you. Well, we'll leave the hood on because it's accurate. Let's check shoulders. Do we have Dark Raven? Oh my goodness, we do. Ah, uh, I could not be more chuffed right now. And I think I did a pretty good job actually making Raven. You, you can disagree with me, that's fine. But, but Dark Raven is so much cooler. Oh, we got, hang on, wait, check for enhanced. We've got a lot to unlock here. Enhanced? No. But we have dark raven wings. Let's put them on, shall we? It's a good thing I have all these um, replay badges to use right now. It's very much working out for me. Oh, I do love those. The enhanced ones are better, but these ones are still pretty darn good. All right, chest, please have enhanced. Oh, look, something to unlock. And another to unlock. Why does it keep disappearing? I hate that when I'm scrolling through and it just disappears. <gasps> Dark Raven! Oh, yes, please. Oh, oh, I know what the problem is. I've just realized what the problem is, guys. Why didn't you tell me? I've been telling you. I'm, I have the wrong color going on here. 
right, we need to adjust this. So we've got a lighter purple happening for her eyes. Ah, I feel so clever right now. Yeah, well, join the club. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get it a little more purpley. I, that, that makes the glow disappear. We want brighter. Maybe we'll go a bit more pink. There we go. See, see how it like is luminescent now? Ah, so nice. Oh, her shoulders don't match her back because she's got enhanced feathers on the shoulders and not enhanced on her back. It's a little sad. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Where are we up to? Chest, hands, please. Dark Raven, Dark Raven, Dark Raven. Ah, yes. Oh, happy day. I should not be singing. Please, I do not want to have to do a spoken word version again. No singing. Okay, the colors look wrong on there. Oh, and on her chest, wait. I have all the colors in the wrong position, don't I? Head, black to purple, yep, better. Shoulders, no, I feel the shoulders are correct. I want the feathers purple, I don't want the feathers black. So we'll stick, stick with that for that, for the shoulders and the back. Chest though, we want the black and then the purple there. Yeah, so the purple is surrounding the gems and the black is on her cloak, jacket, coat thing. The chest thing that she's wearing, that, right. <laughs> How do I manage to stumble over my words so often? Well, obviously it's a skill that we have honed over a great number of years. It's really a lot. All right, waist, Dark Raven. <gasps> yes, okay, we can unlock that. Very nice. Ah, oh, this is going so well. I do feel like I'm destroying my work though. Like I put effort into making her look like a Teen Titan Raven. From what I can remember and what I saw in images that I could find online. Please don't come for me. But Dark Raven is so much cooler. Is it not? You know what I need? I need an armory and I need to have both. That's what needs to happen here. What was that, legs? Oh, I love those. I love those so much, they're beautiful. Feet enhanced, please. I would like the gems to sparkle. Yes. <gasps> oh, collect 50 styles. I did such a good job, it was accidental. Look, ah, oh, it's so good. <laughs> I have never worn the entire Dark Raven set before. I'm a little disappointed that I'm missing the enhanced wings, but I'm okay with this. I think she looks great. I don't think she looks like the Teen Titan version at all anymore. I, I need an armory. I'm gonna have to play through to get an armory. All right, let's see what we've got in the way of auras here. Green is no good. We've got some Christmas. We've got dark purple. That seems good to me. Dark purple. Oh yeah, we do not have a lot on here. We've got black. Black or purple? I think purple goes with her powers more. I'm gonna do the purple. Accessories, anything? We have some freebies to unlock. Thank you, Extra Life. Oh, that is the wrong button, Laura. Accessories, here we go, across. Oh, we do not have a lot of options here. I feel like none of these are accurate. We should go without. Yeah, we'll go without. Emblem, let's remove. No, no emblem. No emblem is needed. We do not want an emblem. Emblems suck. I feel like that's a controversial thing to say. <clears throat> I I'm gonna change my tune here. Emblems are great, and we should love them, and I'm just not using one at the moment. Yes, we love the emblems. Beautiful. <laughs> Weapon we already went to bare hands, which I'm sticking with. Movement, ooh, we could do blue smoke screen. I don't know that I've used a smoke screen one on a flight character before. I think it's all right. I wish they had purple. If you notice they don't have purple for the smoke screen, I'm probably the only one who has noticed because I have an obsession with purple that is unhealthy and most people don't have. But I wish they had purple. <laughs> okay, that's my raven, or rather that's that girl raven. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Oh well, it's too late now guys. This is what we have what we have. I'm gonna play her through until I get an armory now. I've done it. 
So this is the one I left on, which is Dark Raven Clothes. Except that we have added the noir comic chroma on a couple of the pieces. Which I love. And I put it as my main damage output one for the moment. I'm sure that these things will change because I did not have access to everything I would have liked. But this is battle two. I'm a little frustrated that these wings won't disappear. So on the build in the armory, they are not there. She has the cape. Um, but for some reason, whenever I swap over to something without the dark raven wings, they take time to disappear or they don't disappear, which I find a little bit annoying. And that is the case on every console that I play. So I assume it's happening to more than just me. It's something that's probably inherent with that particular item. But I ho I'm hoping you get the general idea. And I'm hoping that I'm semi-accurate with these. <laughs> All right, let's do heal. This one should be a little familiar. Um, I can't remove the wings again, guys. I'm really sorry. They just kind of appear there. But um, that's almost exactly the same as what we started with. The only thing that has changed is the chest piece. And I removed the gloves because this chest piece makes kind of the same pattern on the back of the hand as the biker glove. And they're less bulky, even though her fingers are covered. So I preferred it when I was doing this. And then last, but definitely not least, Battle Heal. So there we go. It's a similar look to the one that was just preceding it. A couple of little changes. The wings, again, they won't remove. I'm so sorry, but they are not part of the build. You can see over here that these are what the builds look like. And this is a kind of still Teen Titan-y when she doesn't have her mask and hood on. But um, I really liked the hair and I wanted to see it. I tend to play my characters with nothing on their head for the majority of the time. Not always, but most. So, yeah, I like this build too. I have to say, actually I don't have to say, but I'm choosing to say, I had more fun with this than I thought I would. I kind of enjoyed making her, and I enjoyed playing her, because I've obviously played her through so that I could uh, get this working and get my armories going. I also paid for the CR skip just in case that is relevant. Um, but I don't know, it was fun. I'm having fun with it and I don't hate playing it even though it's not me, so that's good. Um, yeah, I'm thinking I need to build a villain uh, of someone who already exists and I want to do Catwoman, but I won't because that is very safe and I don't want to be safe. I was safe with this one need to pick something that's not quite safe. So, oh, I can show you in here, that's better. So you can see that build does not have dark raven wings and a cape, nor does this. I really like this one. She looks so cool. <laughs> it's something I would have chosen myself, that's the problem. <laughs> hey, it's not a problem. It just means we have taste. There we go. Now we can see them all without the wings. I kind of liked that this had the circular piece on her chest, even though it's not asymmetrical and it's in the center. I felt it was kind of reminiscent of quite a few of um, the depictions of her, even though I can't really color it the way I would like to. So for anyone who's after the Dark Raven armor set, um, it's from the Teen Titan capsules, which um, are no longer available. I don't think they're in the Resurgence Mega Capsules because usually um, if they are in there, you can't find them at the Quarks vendor and they are currently at the Quarks vendor. So if you're looking to get them, you can go to that vendor and take your Quarks, but if you're wanting the enhanced version, it is quite expensive. I hope that was interesting or at least a bit of fun. It was a bit of fun for me. And if you would like to build a potentially and most likely an accurate build of Raven like me, feel free to ask me what armor pieces I used in the comments. <laughs> I'm also ready for the ridicule. I realize that I'm building from ancient memory and that I likely got a few things quite wrong. So bring it. But let's pop that girl Raven to bed. Good night, that girl, Raven. And good night, you guys. <laughs>